Oh, hello there, boy -o. And I apologise to any Welsh people, including certain members of my family for that, but today we're going to review Snowdonia, a game by Tony Boydell, uh, by Surprise Stare Games. It's a worker placement game in which you play a team of navvies trying to build the infamous or famous Snowdon Mountain Railway uh, from Clanberris to the peak of Snowdon, uh, the highest mountain in Wales. It's, um, it's a game I've been trying to get a hold of for a while and I finally got a hold of and played it a few times now. So, so let's get on with the review and see what I think later. So here's Snowdonia, uh, the board game, laid out um, as if you lay it out at the start of a game. Now at the bottom here, we have the track. Now this track would go all the way around to the final station. There are a varying number of stations, depending on number of players. For example, this one here, the passing loop, that's only for a five player game marked by the number of five at the top there's halfway station and this is one that ends the track so this is put last and if you look at the top there it tells you the number of track between it and the next station so there's two track between here so what you do is you'd lay two random ones of these face up with the shovel side so two there and three there and what you then do is on each piece, just zoom in. So as you can see there on the station, excuse me, there on the station, we have these four pieces here. They got a spot mark there. And there'll be two on this one, three pieces of rubble on here. As you can see, I've already put three on that just to give you an example of what it's like. So you'd essentially set that up all the way around the board. So it's all complete. Each person gets a man or person in their color marked by these pieces. Depending on the number of players, you put one of these pieces in the Clanberry station and that acts as the surveyor and one spare one in the pub and then each person gets two workers to deploy each turn. They also get 16 of these markers here to mark anything they've completed and you also put these contracts down there initially at the start of the game each one of these has got a weather symbol at the bottom there, sun. And that's fog. And they also have, because it's Wales, and it wouldn't be complete without rain. And they go on the weather track, which is here. The current turn being indicated by the one at the top. And each turn, they'll move on. So... And the end of the turn, if that contract card hasn't been picked up, it goes into there. That one moves into there. That one moves into there. And this new one goes there. And we look at the top one here. And you put the appropriate counter on. So we'll put a rain token from the bag here. On there. So, depending on who goes first, drawn randomly, we get this train token here. They will place 
one of their men on these spots at the top there. And each one of these spots can do different things. So the one at the far left there, that lets you either take the first player marker and pick up three cubes of either three iron, three stone, or two iron and one coal, or one iron, two stone, or, or any, any combination of those. You can't take more than one coal. The next one along there, that lets you dig. So, in this case, if you put your man on a dig action, you take the number of tokens off the track equal to the current dig score. If you could take all three off, then what you do is you flip the card over and it becomes a piece of track. The next one across lets you convert three iron ore into one steel bar or take two rubble from your supply and take a stone out of the supply bag. The next one lets you lay a piece of track so that involves putting one of those steel bars onto the train track so in this case you put a steel bar on there and then like that and we'd just pop over here to my box get the steel bar that goes on the track like so then we've got build action that lets you do one of the build actions at the station so If we go to the station here, as you can see at the bottom of this station card, underneath the excavation, excavation ones, we've got different ones. So build four stone, three stone, two stone. You can do one of those with the build action. So if I put four stone there, I'd get the number of victory points indicated on the card. You can't build that station though until all of the rubble has been excavated and the track is complete. Now you don't have to have built this on the track, you just have to have a complete track. So that's the build action. And then we have the contract card action, and that lets you take one of these contract cards here. As you can see, there's three pieces of information on here. One is at the top, and that's used at the end for converting to victory points. So if I've laid two pieces of track here, I can get 15 victory points. The next one underneath that is an action I can perform once in the game when I've put my uh, person on point B. So the excavate action here. And that lets me, when I ever take an ex excavate action this round, take double the number of rubble cubes work rate plus any bonuses and you tap that and you can't use that again but you can use it at the end to collect this now the work rate is indicated by this track here the top one being the number of cubes you can excavate from a, a card and the bottom one being the number of track now you must take that number of cubes or that number of track so if it's on two track you've got to lay two track so that means you must have two steel bars or enough rubble to take off uh, the exception to that is at the end if you come up to snowdonia and there's only one piece of track left you can lay one even though the build rate says two when a rain token is on the first uh, weather marker it moves these down by one a sun marker that's indicated here moves them up one and a fog which is the 
grey one there. That stops the build action and the excavate action. So we'd put a black marker on either of those. So you put one of these on there. So we'd like, like that. So there we go, we can't build. When I take a action that takes stuff from the supply, so I put my hand over here, it all comes from the stockyard there. At the end of each round, we have to reach into a bag to stock up a different amount. It's indicated by the number of players on the board here. If during that round you pull out any white tokens from the bag, these go on the event track. So the first one, for example, digs all the rubble off up until the first station. And the second one lets you build trains Third one automatically lays track so you can't get any bonuses for it. The next one builds the nearest station and then some of them will repeat. The special one here is number six, which means you have to pay one iron bar for your train's upkeep. And at the end, we go back to the stop. Now you can buy trains by going to the build action here which is build or buy a train and what you do is you pay the cost so two iron bars and each train comes with a certain amount of coal to start on it so this one starts with one and you, every train lets you spend one coal to get an extra man out of the pub to use that turn he's only he only lasts that turn so he has to go back at the end of the turn and also, as well as that, each train has a special ability. So whenever you play a man in action A, you get an additional cube. So you take four rather than three. You can't take more than one coal though. That's, that rule always applies. You can only ever take one coal from here. And that's it. You go around and round and round until you've built the track or in a two player game, somebody runs out of these ownership tokens, so these, these are the ones that mark uh, what you've managed to do. So, if you look on this station, the first station, if I'd have built this one, I put my ownership marker on it there. It slides off because it's at an angle there, and that tells me that I get nine victory points at the end. And then at the end, as well as the victory points for the stuff that's marked on the board. You can cash in contracts. So this one, if I've built four tracks, I'd get 31. If I'd got five stations, I'd get uh, 23. Or I'd got six plus victory points on my surveyor. Now that's the one I forgot. I'll show you that in a second. But you can only claim one of the matching types. So, here we've got a two track, gives me 15 and a four track. I can either take the two track or the four track. I can't take the four track and the two track. So as I was saying, as well as the building, you get points for the surveyor. And this one is the top right there. And if you put uh, one of your workers on there, it lets you take, take the surveyor from Clan Berries and move him up one station at a time. So what we'd have is you'd move your surveyor to the first station and then if you use the action in another round he'd move to the next one. And each station marked at the top here has a number of victory points that you get for getting your surveyor to that. So the first station is only worth one. So that's it, you check those victory points in, the ones you've got for building stuff and the ones from the stations, the ones that you use from the contracts, and one of the trains also, Snowden, 
gives you nine victory points. Whoever has the most victory points wins. That's a, a nice and simple uh, uh, sort of victory condition there, but a very strategic, complicated game. Anyway, we'll uh, wrap this up with my thoughts on the game shortly. So that's Snowdonia, a game by Surprise Stir Games. It's uh, not the easiest game to get a hold of in the UK. I believe it was released at Essen uh, last year. But um, if you can get a hold of it and like work place placement games like I do, it's a, a very good game to get hold of. I'm actually surprised, given the fact that it wasn't. It was designed by somebody who had not been to um, Snowdonia. But they got the Welsh theming uh, so good. I mean, parts of my family are from Wales and I've been to Snowdonia a lot and the weather conditions on the card. And generally the feeling of uh, being involved in building the mountain railway up Snowdonia is, is key. It's, it's a theme that actually works. Um, I wouldn't think it would have worked just by looking at the box cover here. That's the worst bit of the game if you ask me. Uh, the box just says Snowdonia and Tony Boyd, or the game designer, and, and a picture of some navvies. Now it's a nice picture, but it's a little bit, well, it, it looks boring. But overall, the game's a solid 8 or 9 out of 10, so maybe in the future they'll revise it. I have heard that there's some expansion packs on the way, but I don't know when. So... Uh, Anyway, that's it. Snowdonia, thoroughly recommended. And thanks for watching another episode of Lord Splodge Gaming.